There's so many frogs. I've never seen this many at the one time ever. Wow. There's so many frogs. They're so cute. Oh, wow. Look at all the eggs, too. There's so many frogs. Look at them all. They just came out of hibernation. It's so loud. There's thousands of them all over the place. Thousands and thousands more eggs, tadpoles. I've never seen this many frogs in person before. Never. I see a lot of them have their skin peeling off because they just came out of hibernation. It's been growing and they haven't been able to get it off. It looks kind of scary. It just comes right off. So many awesome creatures are coming out today. That guy's huge. At least 10 inches. Wow, I can't believe how many frogs there were last night. 
They laid tons of egg sacs. It's almost impossible to find a frog right now. They all dispersed. It's amazing. They all gathered here and now they're all gone. That's amazing. Night two. It's raining out. Careful we don't step on any frogs coming out here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Here we go, with some of them. Oh, there's so many frogs again.
All right, everyone, we're back here to the frog area. Only about four or five days after when we saw them all. And the water's draining because this guy has taken out a beaver dam. And as a result, this water's slowly going away. And tonight, we're supposed to get four to eight inches of snow. And it's already April 19th. See what we have here? Look at the frog eggs. They're like half out of the water. The ones out of the water have shriveled up. I'm assuming they're dead. They're going to die tonight if the snow hits them and the water's going to continue going down. Hey, there are still a few frogs here, but we're going to try scooping up a few and moving them to a pond. The pond's only a few hundred feet away, so we don't have to worry about spreading any kind of disease over a distance. Even if they, if they did have one for a chance. Just going to move them a little bit down the street to another pond. Yeah, they're not doing too good. The water's a lot more shallow. You can see they're all shriveling up the egg sacs. We're going to try to scoop up a few, and that's about it. All right, we scooped up some of them, and, well, at least we're saving some of them. We can't save them all. There's way too many of them here, but they're going to die if they're not moved. This swamp is going to dry up completely as a result of this guy removing the beaver dam. But it had to be done because of the road. You can't blame the guy for it. Not really. But at least we'll be able to save a few thousand by doing this. A few thousand frogs will be saved. Look at that weird foam. I think that's coming from the eggs. Maybe that's what makes them sticky enough to be together, stick to objects. Um, you can just hope for the best. Yeah, see, when we came here a few days ago, they were in water. Now they're like walking on top of moss and mush, barely any water. Also, guys, keep in mind, this is actually kind of rare. This is the first time in my life I've ever seen a grouping of frogs like this. Usually, when you find frog eggs, there's like maybe a couple clumps. This is like very unusual to see in thousands of frogs, hundreds of little egg sacs.